Good Friday morning, Mount Olive family, friends of Mount Olive, all you tuning in to watch uh, another Friday's devotion. I uh, appreciate each one of you, as I always say, for taking the time to look at those, uh, at these different devotions for the week. Uh, all the guys do a really good job. Uh, I think, I don't want to, not patting myself on the back, but they do a great job. Even the new ones are doing a great job, so appreciate them. We'll share my screen with you, hopefully again. Okay. So, Brother Jason's message Sunday, uh, we weren't there. We were uh, we were gone, and uh, but uh, still got to listen to it. Uh, he entitled it, It's All About Love. And uh, I thought that was a, a timely message for the, the times that we live in. Today, you read the news and you see that love seems like it's been abandoned. There's not much uh, love out there anymore. Uh, the way people treat each other and the way families treat e each other. Uh, it's not uh, it's not a, a good thing. And, and he made this statement, and this one is one that stuck with me. And, and uh, I thought, you know, that's a, a great statement to do. He said, we can give without loving, but we can't love without giving. And I thought that was a... a a, a good uh, quote uh, and a good topic, you know, uh, to uh, speak on and his in his sermon, uh, because it's true. You know, we can give. I can give. I can give money. I can give my time. I can give my efforts. I can give whatever. But you know, I can give it without loving. You know what I'm doing or or who I'm doing it for. Uh, you know, just so I can be popular or I can. Uh, again, a name and oh, look what I did. Look what you know we did. Look at all this. That's that's just self. Um, you know, trying to put yourself above everybody else. There's no loving. You can give, but there's no loving. But he, the second part says, but we can't love without giving, and uh, that's a, a, a even you know greater statement. We can't love without giving. We you know when we love. We have to give of ourselves when we are um, uh, are doing uh, any of our projects or uh, if we are reaching out to um, another uh, group or if we're going to Nicaragua. Yeah, you know, we can send money to Nicaragua, which we do, you know, for villages all, you know, all the time. But if we don't go, then what is it? They don't know who Mount Olive is. They don't know who we are. But when we go, we go. And we give, but we give it with love, and the people know that. And they, and you know, we've been told that they love to see Mount Olive coming because they know we're going to come, and we're going to, you know, we're going to do what what Christ would have us to do, uh, you know, for those that are there. And that's what it's all about. You know, we can't just we can't just love and not, you know, without giving. We got to give of ourselves. You know, we got to give of our time, our efforts, whatever it might be. But when we love. We, you know, there is something, something great about that. And Jesus commands us in uh, John 15, 12 through 13. He said, this is my commandment. Now that wasn't just for the 12 that was there at the time. This is my commandment, Jesus said, that you love one another as I have loved you. Now, you know, we read that and we think, well, he's talking to the disciples. No, he's talking to us. This is a commandment from Christ that we love one another. That as I have loved you, what love did he do? What love did he, how did he love me? Well, he gave me grace because in verse 13 says, greater love hath no man than this, and a man lay down his life for his friends. And, you know, Jesus was foretelling the disciples of what, the, uh, what uh, was going to happen to him. You know, he was going to lay down his life for his friends, not just those 12, but for all of us. He went to the cross, you know, to show this greater love uh, that he could lay down his life. He could go through all that he went through for you and for me and give us the grace that we need. And the greater love is John 3, 16. And brother Jason, you know, had that. He said, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. You see, God loved and he had to give. He gave his only begotten son so that you and I could believe 
uh, on on him and that we would not perish but we'd have everlasting life uh, i hope that uh, i hope that you have uh, enjoyed this devotion a little short for me but you know it's all about what christ did for us that we show that love that he's that he gave us that we show it to one another and you know it's you know we need to be an example you know for those out there that we are showing love one for another uh, i hope to see you sunday at church uh be much in prayer uh i guess i think brother tj is going to be uh, uh be preaching i'm not not sure about that i, I will be preaching i'm i'm, I'm not sure <laughs> I, I haven't heard we weren't able to go like I said, Sunday or Sunday night. When I was able to go Wednesday, so I don't know who will. And more than you know, more than likely it will be him. But uh, just be praying for whoever. Be praying for those who come. Be praying that the love of Christ would uh, would shine out to those who may be coming for the first time. That they would see that this is the place that they need to be uh, doing God's work for to you know for one another. Uh, love each one of you and we'll see you on Sunday.